we're here at the 2017 Boston Marathon where Angela Scott is just about to cross the finish line running this year for the Girl Scouts. It's a perfect day with beautiful weather and we are right at the finish line. Earlier this week, we sat down with Angela to learn more about her journey leading up to the big day. For Angela, running the Boston Marathon has been a lifelong dream, one that she's had to overcome significant obstacles to achieve. Since the second grade, I was monitored for my scoliosis, so um, it's a hereditary condition and my mom had it, so we were kind of always monitoring me for it. When I was a junior in high school, that's when uh, we made the decision to have the scoliosis uh, spinal fusion surgery. After that, they really encourage you not to play, you know, contact sports, so basketball and, and soccer and all that kind of stuff was out of the question. And so, you know, I kind of started to rely back on running. Angela had trained for months, and on April 15th of 2013, she set out on the official race course for the Boston Marathon. You know, that day is, is, is kind of crazy. It's all kind of a blur to me in that moment. And as I reflect back on it, it's just the day unfolded in so many ways that I didn't expect. And my first reaction was just like, I've pushed my body this far. Like, we need to keep going. There's no way we're stopping. Like, this is Boston. Like, we fight through anything. And then we saw uh, a policeman on a motorcycle that just came and ushered everyone off the course. So at that moment, I was just, you know, in true disbelief, I couldn't really understand or fathom what had gone on and the fact that someone would take advantage of this wonderful day in Boston. Angela began training with the Marathon Coalition back in December and has finally returned to the 26.2 mile course to run for the Girl Scouts. Ever since I can remember, running the marathon and especially Boston has always been my dream. Um, when I was younger, I used to go and watch my dad on the Newton Hills and I can just remember having this overwhelming feeling thinking that I, someday I really want to run this race and be a part of this um, experience here in Boston. Angela finished the 121st Boston Marathon with a time of 518, achieving not only her goal, but giving hope to others with the same dream. For WMCT News, I'm Emmeline Anderson.